recognized. Madam Speaker, I'm proud to yield two minutes from a gentleman who hails from the food, fuel, and fiber capital of the world, my fellow Texan, Mr. Arrington. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I couldn't have said that better myself. I want to thank the ranking member, my dear friend from the great state of Texas, for his leadership on this very important trade deal, our largest and most important relationship of all of our trading relationships. I want to thank our chairman, Chairman Neal, for keeping this thing on track and keeping people in the game so we could have a bipartisan, and that's the only way this was going to work if we had a bipartisan uh, a consensus. And so you are to be commended, Mr. Chairman, uh, for your efforts. But let's give credit where credit is due for the one who led the charge, who did the heavy lifting, our President Donald J. Trump. And I'm saying this because in 2016, he was already calling out some of these trade deals as a ripoff uh, on American workers and, ma and manufacturers. Now, while NAFTA was a great deal for, for farmers and ranchers, we saw a 400% increase uh, uh, in, in trade for ag products uh, since the uh, inception of NAFTA. It, it hasn't been good all the way around. It hasn't been fair all the way around. And it hasn't been um, productive in terms of keeping jobs here in the United States. So uh, kudos to our president for his dogged commitment to, to uh, American first uh, trade policies. That doesn't mean America only. It means that we negotiate from strength and we negotiate what's in the best interest of American workers, manufacturers, and farmers. That's what this does. 70 billion in economic growth, 170,000 jobs, and, uh, and billions of investment that will go into the auto uh, manufacturing sector. Uh, our producers, dairy producers, and other uh, farmers are gonna have open and, uh, and access to new customers in Canada. So this is a huge win for America. And so I wanna join all my colleagues, Republican and Democrat, and champion this all the way through. Uh, so I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, vote yes for USMCA and vote for an even greater America and an even greater prospect for American prosperity. God bless America, go West Texas, and I yield back.